Hi there everybody, this is Miss Nelson here and today we are doing lesson 10.3 in our fourth grade Florida Go Math books. If you're in my class, you should have your big book on page 389. We're going to fill out page 389 as we go through the lesson. So today we're going to be talking about parallel lines and perpendicular lines. We're also going to cover intersecting lines. Um, and you're going to have to identify these types of lines. So you'll have to know which one is which. So again, they've given us a chart here to tell you which one is which so that you know you can look back at this chart for reference. It says you can find models of lines in the world around you. For example, two streets that cross each other model intersecting lines. You might have heard your parents say, I have to go through this intersection. So whenever two streets cross, that's an intersecting line. Metal rails on a train track that never cross model parallel lines. Okay, so here we have our definitions. Intersecting lines, you can see this is like two streets that cross. So anytime you have two lines that are crossing, that's called an intersecting line. Intersecting lines are lines in a plane that cross at exactly one point. Intersecting lines form four angles. There's an angle, there's an angle, there's an angle, and there's an angle. So, you would read this. Line HI intersects line JK at point X. And you would write it line HI and line JK intersect at point H. So here's how to read it. Here's how to write it. Next, parallel lines. Parallel lines in a plane are lines in a plane that are always the same distance apart. So they never get closer together. They always stay the same distance apart. Parallel lines will never intersect because they always stay the same distance apart. So this picture, you would read this picture, line DE is parallel to line FG. You would write it, line DE, and then this sign, which means parallel, and then FG. The symbol with these two lines right here means is parallel to. Okay, perpendicular lines. These ones are lines in a plane that intersect to form four right angles. So that means they're gonna go exactly up and exactly across. So you have 90 degrees here, 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 and here. So four right angles. So this picture of perpendicular lines you would read it, line LM is perpendicular to line NO. And you would write it, the perpendicular sign is like this, it's like an upside down T. So you would write LM is perpendicular to line NO. Okay, so try this. Tell how the streets appear to be related, write perpendicular, parallel, or intersecting. So we're going to look for West 36th Street and Broadway. So here's West 36th, and here's Broadway. So those ones, they cross each other, so they're intersecting, but they're not perpendicular because they don't have a straight up and straight across line. It's kind of tilted. So we're just going to say that these are intersecting. They're intersecting, but they're not um, perpendicular. Sorry, it's hard to write with this pen. Okay, West 35th and 7th. So here's 35th, straight across, 7th, straight down. So those are intersecting, but they're straight across and straight down. So those are, you would write intersecting, I'll put an I for intersecting, and they're also perpendicular. Sorry, my pen is very hard to write with today. Okay, and then the last one, West 37th and West 36th. Okay, so 
37th, let me change my color so you can see this better. 37th and 36th are this, oops, wrong, are this line and this line. So they're running next to each other the same distance apart and they never cross. That is parallel. Okay, so the three things to review that you learned today are what an intersecting line is, what a parallel line is, and what a perpendicular line is. If you have any questions, feel free to leave me a message. Thanks.